a hard time how that it has inspired them, how they tried for years and couldn't make any headway. And, and so, uh, so that kind of thing is really where the rubber hits the road is, is so what if you sell some books, but is it really, really helping people? And I think the answer to that is yes, it's putting a smile on people's faces and it's helping them to find their own inner badass, to help them, helping them to find an, an island in the midst of this hurricane that we're, that we're living in right now. We have got a great guest of this today. The author of Spirituality for Badasses joins us here on our big broadcast, Coast to Coast, Border to Border on iHeartRadio. So this book, incredibly well written. Take me through the writing process for this great book. Sure. So it, it came about, uh, this is my second book, and I, I tried to write a second book for a number of years, in, in a in a more conventional fashion, I just didn't I, I didn't I hadn't found my voice yet. I was I was trying to find a way to teach mindfulness, a way to teach um, spirituality in a in a non dogmatic and non religious way, but just hadn't really found my voice. And I tried this one thing um, and put a few ads on on Facebook, and it just sort of flopped, and, I, and it was just frustrating. I was like, screw this. I'm just going to be myself. I'm just going to be potty-mouthed and humorous and say what I want to say, even if it's slightly offensive, even if I'm you know, out on an edge and out on a limb. And I did that. I wrote the first couple of chapters in a few days. I, I put a little thing on Facebook, and it just took off. I got immediate interest in it. I think that I, – I, I think there's – yeah, it's so funny. You always hear if you want to be an author, if you're writing something, you need to be authentic. You need to be authentic. And it just took me a while to find what my authentic voice was. And so that's the that's the the writing that's the writing process and how I um, basically wrote the book. Is just I was like, okay, what what limits what limits can I break? What boundaries can I burst? And I really just enjoyed the hell out of writing it. We've got a great guest with us today. Jeff Jackson joins us here on our broadcast. Spirituality for Badasses is the latest from him. And he joins us today here on our big broadcast here on iHeartRadio. So this book, you've put a lot of time and effort into this book. What do you want readers to take away from your writing? Awesome question. So I think the readers, I think I would like them to take away the sense that everything will be okay. We live and have lived for the last year and a half in such a, a storm of crap that you can't help but to be, feel strung out. You can't help but, but to feel hopeless. And this is exactly how I felt when I was going through depression. And I did indeed find out that, that there's this part of me that's okay, and that if I nurture it, if I can feed it, if I can give it some time and some attention, that that will spill over into the rest of my life, and it will grow, and it will grow. So that's my intention. That's my message, is that everything will be okay. And I'm just a, another voice trying to provide assistance and help in times that are stressful and in times when people are hurting, and it's an alternative way of doing so. And um, so that's the message, man. We have got Jeff Dixon with us today, Spirituality for Badasses. He joins us today here on our big program. So tell us about the cover of this book. <laughs> you want to know about the cover of the book? So I will tell you the, I'll tell you the, 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 uh, the, the little story about it. So I designed the cover. I'm a, a, I'm a sort of a hack graphic designer. And... Um, the when I designed this book, I want to first say no, I was not thinking of Hunter S. Thompson and Fear and Loathing in Las Vegas. I was not thinking of that at all. I just wanted to to have a cover that was bold, in your face, and just spoke exactly what this was about. So there's a road, a meandering road that goes off into the distance, and this book is an adventure story where I take you, the reader, and a whole bunch of 
uh, to a whole bunch of places and go through a whole bunch of adventures. And then there's the sunglasses, of course, which are just an icon, just a symbol for being for, for not losing your cool, for being a badass, um, which I think a lot of people can relate to. Um, so that's how the that's how the cover came about, and uh, I do get slightly uh, peeved when someone says, "Oh, it's just like Hunter S. Thompson's book." I'm like, "Oh, that was written 50 years ago, and I didn't even know his book had sunglasses on the front." So no big <laughs> deal. But that's how that came about. It is Jeff Dixon. He's with us today. Spirituality for badasses. He joins us live here on our big program. So, uh, who were some of your, uh, I guess, influences on this book, or or, or heroes yeah. of, of writing, or anything like that? Yeah. So, I think probably my biggest hero is a fellow named Jed McKenna, who's a a, a very strange sort of author. He wrote uh, a series of books, Politically Incorrect Enlightenment, and a bunch of other books that are about spirituality and um, uh, self-help and, and, and growth. And he, his was one of the first books that, I, that was irreverent, that w- spoke in, a, in, a, in an unexpected tone. Like there's some passages in his book where he goes skydiving. There's passages in his book where he's just sitting around playing Tomb Raider. I'm like, man, now that is cool. That is a spiritual teacher that I could get into. You know, this is an author I can get into. So I really, really was influenced and and enamored of his writing style. Another author that influenced me heavily is Mark Manson, who wrote The Subtle Art of Not Giving a F.U. I don't need to fill out the rest of it. Um, Really famous, really big book. One of the... the, um, uh, big tomes in the irreverent self-help field, The Subtle Art of Not. And boy, that's a great book, too. Just humorous, down-to-earth, authentic, and real. And I think those books helped me to find my voice uh, to, in, in, in doing the same thing. So there's, there's two great authors who were some influences. We have got a great guest with us today. Jeff Dixon is with us. Spirituality for Badasses is the latest from him. He joins us today here on our big program here on the Quad Pod. So what elements did you draw upon to develop this book? Yeah, that's a great question. So the majority of the elements come from 20 years interacting with a bunch of unorthodox spiritual teachers, mostly in the Zen, Buddhist, and uh, Hindu Advaita Vedanta traditions, and uh, teachers that are... are were small in stature and teachers that were big following you go into a hall and there'd be thousands of people so most of my most of the the work comes from that i also draw upon mindfulness based stress reduction modern neuroscience a little bit of of uh mindfulness based cognitive therapy um and uh a little bit of what i call zen uh zen head slap where you're like you know hey wake up wake up man are you paying attention that kind of thing where you're like in in their face a little bit, which I always appreciate and always like. And then the last thing that I, that one utilizes and why the book is is I think been so well received and 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 is attractive to people is storytelling. I don't just lay out a bunch of stuff for you to you know exercises and do this and do that. It's not it's not like that at all. It's not boring. It's a story. It's a story where I take you through real-life adventures, and there's humor in the story, and there's unexpected things happen in the story. Like, for instance, we go to a, we go to a, a biker bar in North Carolina at the beach. It's called Lucky's Two-Stroke Biker Bar, and I take you in the bar, and I get you mindfully drunk off of tequila. And so I can guarantee you that this is the only self-help book that you will ever read where you are getting mindfully drunk off of tequila. And so I do that kind of thing. And as part of the story, we end up as a fist fight. We end up in jail the next day. So there's all sorts of funny stuff. So storytelling, you can't underestimate that. And that is, is, a, is, a, is a big part of the book. Fantastic. Jeff Dixon with us today, Spirituality for Badasses. He joins us here on our big program, Coast to Coast and Border to Border on iHeartRadio. So give us the profile of the typical reader who's going to love your book. Oh, that's such a great question. Boy, I love the the, the readers and, and the fans who have been reading this book because I can tell that they're kind of 
new to the spiritual waters. They're, they're, they're attracted by someone who is just like they were. I didn't get involved in spirituality to become a saint or a yogi or a, or a, you know, some sort of uh, do-gooder. I got into spirituality because I was hurting. I was in pain, and I wanted things weren't working for me. And, and I wanted a change. I wanted things, as I said before, to be okay. And so I have a great sense that, that those who read this book are hurting in some fashion or way. They're kind of tired of conventional religion, and, and we're all sick, right, sick to death right now, all of us, of absolute truths. So this book offers a, a refreshing take on, on finding your way, finding some inner peace and happiness, and, it's, and, and, the, and, and those who have read it are are new and they're open and it's awesome because this is reaching a, a group of people that normally really wouldn't have anything to do with spirituality and I love that so much that, that I'm able to touch many, many people who wouldn't normally pick up a book like this. Fantastic. Jeff Dixon with us today. Spirituality for Badasses, he joins us today here on the Quad Pod. And he is just amazing, a great uh, great storyteller, great book. So name one entity that you feel supported you on this book outside of your family members. Name one person who supported me in this book outside of my family members. Yes, yes. That's a very, that's a, that's a very interesting question. Give me one second. Hmm. I'm going to say, I'm going to say, um, my neighbor, um, okay. sort of, uh, yeah, if that counts, my neighbor's a pastor and he's such a cool guy and, uh, he's also a writer. And so funny enough, we, we just had a lot in common and, uh, have, have shared a little bit of the journey, the writing journey together. Some of his work has taken off at the same time as mine and so it's been a real joy to interact with. I mean, he lives right next door to me. So it's, the, the odds are infinitesimal that I would be living next to someone else who's also a, a writer that, you know, is not, not exactly the same material, but somewhat, I mean, being that he's a pastor, it's similar. It's just so beautiful and so awesome and so inspiring and so cool. So there you go. Fantastic. It is a great guest. And uh, the, the book is amazing, Spirituality for Badasses. Before we let you go, my friend, how do we get in touch with you on social media and everywhere else? Sure. You can find the book on Amazon. Just go to Amazon, type in Spirituality for Badasses. I have a feeling uh, hundreds and hundreds of people have already done so, so it'll pop right up. And then you can go to my website, spiritualityforbadasses.com. Fantastic. Well, I appreciate you making time for us today. Thanks for coming on our big program and chatting with us. Have yourself a wonderful, wonderful day. Thank you, sir. You too, James. Take care, buddy. Appreciate it, brother. There he goes. That is Jeff Dixon. He's with us here on the Quad Pod and Coast to Coast and Border to Border on iHeartRadio today. And we are going to do this. We are going to take a brief time out here. And uh, if you're watching us, listening to us, however the hell you're doing this, uh, we are going to get it figured out, and we will be back here 